Welcome to the journeyman. You have heard of Ali and Foreman, the rumble in the jungle. You've heard of Frasier and Ali, the thriller in Manila. But are you ready for the... I need one that begins with N. I can't think of any... The only one I can think of is nuclear, and it doesn't work. Um... I should have prepared. I should have prepared. The battle in Naples? Yeah, we'll go with that. Where were you when the battle in Naples happened? <laughs> Where were you when the battle in Naples happened as Deli Ali and Benedict Tony have their rematch? Yes, it's a big one. It's the double header of Turin. Torino away from home, followed by Juventus at home, where we will get our hands on Deli Ali. And I just want to say on record now, Deli, I forgive you for your horrible tackle when I was at Inter Milan. I forgive you for trying to end my career, and I'm fully ready to be friends. The the beef is squashed, Deli. I look forward to seeing you out there. Before we get on to anything, though, of course, first time in a while, we've got a full bloody since you've been gone, where we played AC Milan. And we met an old friend, um, Danny Ceballos, who, as you all know, I hate his guts. The Since You've Been Gone kicked off with a game against Lecce. Some quick passing football started things off. Hudson Odoi gets a rare goal. Happy days. I'm thinking, finally, we're going to kick on, get some form, win a few games, and be happy. But no, blink of an eye, we're 2 1 down. Tony knew he had to do something. He scores his first header for Napoli. Good movement, great finish. And then. A lovely long ball, and look at this for a finish. Head to compose yourself, boom, into the far corner. Happy days for Tony, a brace at the San Paolo. We are absolutely laughing, and that wrapped up that game nicely. Champions League against Zagreb, make a nice angle for yourself, tuck it away Jack, it's that simple. 1-0 win in the Champions League, we needed that. Qualification is back on route, and you know, they were attacking. Sometimes my tackles, they even shock me, they're that good. AC Milan, this was a big one. Milan had won every single game of the season so far. We had an early chance of Saka, but it was saved by our Italian compatriot Donnarumma. And he saves again. AC, though, look, they play good football. I've never seen anything like that on FIFA. Absolutely electric. It comes in. It's through Merritt's legs. It's disappointing. The only other chance of the game was to them. We clear it, but yeah, that's how that one ended. A disappointing loss to Milan. They're running away with the title of a race. They have still won every single game. Bologna was next, and who did they have? Danny Ceballos, a teammate from Inter Milan that we absolutely hated. And they went 1-0 up early on, and I knew I'm not losing this game. 1-0. How would you like that? Well, how would you like that, Bologna? Well, they like it this much. They're going to go straight down the other end and score to make it 2-1. But I thought, no. This is the day when we are really turning up for Napoli. A good bit of football gets our second and makes it 2 all, And then we have the first Tony hat-trick for Napoli. Look at this. Oh, a man that big shouldn't be that delicate. But it's absolutely perfect. 3-2, jumping into the crowd. What a win this would be. But... Danny Ceballos, that dirty little rat, Danny Ceballos, scores to make it 3-0. I was heartbroken. I knew one team was going to win this. We had a goal kick late on. I call for the ball to counter-attack, and it's absolutely, it's a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Belong you get the 4-3 win. I pick up the match ball, but with clear sadness in my eyes. Lazio, a team that we had a lot of trouble with last season. We nearly go up early doors, don't quite manage it. And then, you know, Tony does what he does best. Jinx a tackle. Look at that finesse finish. 1-0 win against Lazio, a good result, or it's just never that straightforward. We give away a penalty stupidly, and Murray, is he going to be a journeyman legend in goal? He just might be. A terrible penalty by Lazio means a 1-0 win for us going into the final game of the century been gone against Zagreb. And this game was the Bakary Saka game. Four bloody goals, Bakary Saka. You can't be doing stuff like that, but we look... Set to qualify for the Champions League knockout round, and I don't want to talk about the Syria. So, a mixed bag. Obviously, the Milan loss was heartbreaking. The Bologna loss, I, I don't even want to get into it. A, a dreadful, dreadful result. And this is where it leaves us in the table. Seventh. We've got a game in hand, and if we win that against Torino, we will go up to third, and only a point behind Juventus, who we play next. So you're thinking, you know what, Jack, that's not actually too bad. You are still in this title race. And then you look at AC Milan, who, had, who have won every game so far. So yeah, want to win the Italian title. Don't like my odds. But Torino, as you saw there, fifth place. It's not going to be an easy game. 
by any stretch of this wonderful imagination that I have up here behind the sweatband. The sweatband actually increases the power of the imagination. And here we go, the lineup that you're getting used to now. Monzon started playing a little bit more recently. The two centre backs, I really enjoy them. I'm still out wide, so none of it matters, but I'm getting better out wide, I think. There he is. Hoo ha! Hoo ha! Hoo ha! Warming up. Third place or fourth place, who knows where they were, Torino. All you need to know, good team Torino. Don't get in your head that they're not one of the big boys, because guess what? They've become a big boy. They've grown like a baby from the ages of two to the ages of five. They've grown three or four feet. It's just not right. You wouldn't have a four foot five year old, or would you? They've nearly scored already. Focus. Why am I talking about the height of children? True fact about Benedict Tony. Um, five for eight by the time he was seven. They thought he might go on to be the tallest man in the world. He didn't get much taller, but still, you should have seen him in the under sixes league. Saka plays it through to... That wasn't a pass or anything, by the way. That was my first touch. I've been moved up front. Joe Pesci. I said nothing's happened in 20 minutes. Pesci has hit the panic button. Oh, look at that by Tony. He gives everything for this football club. Sometimes I make a tackle or a good pass and then I'll just shoot. It's just ridiculous. Monzon plays it through. It's a lovely first touch by Tony. Bit of power. Oh, I had too much time there. I kind of stopped and thought, do I want to finesse it? Do I want to power it? No, I want to hit the woodwork like I always do. Straight at Mere. That He had so much space. <laughs> like no one within eight yards of him. I mean, I know social distancing's a... You, you merely mention the, uh, you know, C19, all of that stuff, and the game goes against you. hudson Adoy is terrible. He is absolutely terrible. Inter Milan, losing again. Absolutely useless they are. Next episode, we will be playing Inter Milan. It will be a big one. And the exciting thing about playing Inter Milan is it's the first time ever on the journeyman that we've played one of our old clubs. We've never met him in Europe or anything like that. This is the first time it's happening, and I am excited. Cabal. It's a good ball. Tony got in front of his man straight at... I don't know. Scaldona? Scaldon? Come on, please. We've kept the ball. We're falling, though. We're falling all over the place. We've won it back. Completely off balance, and I thought a shot was the best option. Should tell you everything you need to know about Callum hudson Odoi. Adams. Good football. Gaetano. Tony! Oh, just wide. First good play of the entire game by Napoli, but we can't quite put it away. Told you all, told you all Torino were good. If anything, I hope I lose as proof that Torino were good. More bodies, more bodies coming to support, please. More, more, we need more. Adams, out wide to hudson Adoy. Adams again, finds me, one touch, Tony! That's how you do a counter-attack. That's how you do a counter-attack. Boom. I'm feeling good. 1-0. It's been coming. Torino have done nothing. They're awful on this game. It's an absolute joke they're doing as well as they are. A superb finish by the boy, Benedict. Pressure him, pressure him. There's three of us over it. You are joking me. You are. You make me sick to my stomach here. They've got a spare man on the far side. I've seen him. Don't worry, people. I've told my teammates about him. They just didn't go to him. Platter. Well done, Cabal. Damask. Oh! Told you I like the centre backs. They're very good positioning wise. Come on, we can do this. Hudson Adoy finds me. One touch. Oh my god. Oh my god. It might be the pass of our career. Oh, Saka! <laughs> the pass I've just pulled off is nothing short of a miracle. And Bakari Saka just couldn't do anything with it. Who is this guy on this far side that no one's picking up? There we go. They've passed it to him. I alerted the other team to him apparently. No one had seen him. Well done, Simicon. Our clearances have been absolutely woeful today. How has he still got the ball? How has he still got the ball? Robertone. Why have you dived in? Oh, why would you have done that? Why would you do that? You would have seen him since you've been gone. We gave away a stupid penalty, which, you know, it wasn't really a penalty, but it was just a late tackle like that. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? Merritt saved the last one, please. What a goalkeeper! What a goalkeeper! To get onto the Adoro, to get onto the Sherpin, to get on the Maximiano level, you have to be good. And that's how you do it. A massive save. Come on! Merritt again saves it. Goes in the middle to me. Through ball. Oh, it was so close. 
fine bloody margins. And is that going to have cost us any chance of winning this game? One more attack perhaps. No, he's blowing the whistle. Oh, we've dropped points against Torino. It's a frustrating, frustrating game. We got on the score sheet. I mean, you can say with the uh, penalty save, we should be happy to get out of here with a point. And if you are saying that, that's why I'm the content creator and you're the viewers, because your ambition is absolutely pathetic. I want to win every game. I want to win this title. Buck up. Buck your ideas up. Fix yourself up sharp, because I'm winning Serie A if it's the last thing I do. And I mean that. Right, we're seventh. I can talk a big game like that and then it comes back to the league table and it's like, right, yeah, we're seventh. But, big game up next. Juventus, Deli Ali, um, as I say, Deli, me and you, we're friends now. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay, hi Joe, what's up? You want me to... Uh, okay, you want me to go and do a face-off? Yeah, I can do a face-off, that's fine. Sure, yeah, I'll be there. That's right, Deli. You thought you had a friend, boy. You thought you had a friend. This isn't over until I say it's over, Deli. Listen to this. That's the sound of my fist. If you are watching, Deli, this doesn't end until I see you in real life and I box you into a corner. I can't do that right now. The next best thing I can do is play FIFA. And what am I going to do? I'm going to beat Juventus, knock them out the title race and put us back in there. I'm going to... I'm going to break one of your legs, if not both, and I'm going to celebrate by doing whatever, doing this or doing that, any of your stupid little catchphrases you have. You're a dead man walking, Deli Ali. Obviously, look, Naples, if you look into it, the Mafia. The Mafia live in Naples, and they're going to be on my side. A big brute striker who has a lot of money, yeah, the Mafia like me, surprisingly, so don't be surprised if something happens to Deli Ali this game. He might just be sleeping with the free I'll tell you what, I'm looking at their lineup and I don't think Deli Ali's playing. I don't think Deli Ali's playing. There's only so much you can do as a content creator in terms of putting your effort in, making a face off. They've decided not to start Deli Ali. <sighs> You're tearing me apart That's how I feel. I feel like James Dean whenever I play this bloody game. Right, okay, uh, let's make up a story. Deli Ali has got so many death threats this week that for his own safety Juventus have left him home. They've flown him back to England where I'm sure he'll allegedly sleep with a prostitute again like he did. Look into it, there's videos of it. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, Delhi, you've escaped, you've escaped death this time. We will play again later in the season. And you can you can bet your bottom dollar, even if I wasn't gonna do an episode on it, if we go into the game and Delhi Ali's there, an episode will start. Then and bloody there. But for now, Juventus. Beating Juventus is all that matters. Hudson Adoy. He has got a point to prove. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do with this pent-up aggression. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I mean, that's a foul. The referees in this country. I mean, I don't know if there's a history of Italian refereeing scandals or cheating in Italy or anything like that. But I'm suspicious. We have a good attack on here. I should focus. Tony, coming inside. Bit of footwork. Cut back. It's beautiful. Adams, what are you doing? What, what on earth are you people playing at? We've got an overload here. Saka. He's taking his time. Who knew passing football? He's going over the top. I've already seen him. I always think I'm pointing at him, but the way I'm in this little box up here, it probably doesn't make sense. They're going to score, aren't they? Good save, Merritt. They're not going to score. Oh, blimey. Jesus, goal kick. Let me know down below. Next year's first series, if I say when the new FIFA comes out, the first thing I do won't be a journeyman because chances are the game will be a little bit broken. Um, and all of that stuff, you know, there'll be issues. I want to do the journeyman when the game is perfect like it is now. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you want me to do as my first series next year. It can be a player career um, and you can give me an idea for it. It can be a manager career and you can tell me why. You know, oh, be Rangers and only sign British players or some rubbish like that. You know, oh, be Man United and only sign British under 21 year olds. Don't give me any rubbish like that, but just give me some ideas of what you would like to see. And if that is what you'd like to see, you've come to the wrong place. Itaran. Ben's what? <laughs> Hardly Kai Havertz, is it? Kai, if you're watching, I've been working on my break dancing. Overlap me, overlap me, good stuff. Keep going, keep going, Rureg. Now, we spring, we spring our attack. Tony. Drives down the line. Tony! <laughs> what a goal! Oh, it's so greedy to even shoot. 
What a strike. Tony jumps into the fans. That's the away fans in front of us too. I'm going, where's your boy? Where's Deli Alley? Where's Deli Alley? I don't see him anywhere. A phenomenal goal by Tony. Takes it out wide, keeps it on his right foot. A tight angle. Tight angle bothers Benedict Tony as much as a dropped ice cream bothers an ant. They're still going to gobble it up, just like I'm going to Google gobble that goal. Boom. 1 0. What a strike. Benedict Tony does it again. Don't panic yourself. Don't panic yourself. We've given it away, and they're going to score, aren't they? Camello back to Lindrigan. Well done. Danger averted. Just wide. Half time, 1 0. A super goal by Benedict Tony. Come on, come on, bring the Lee Alley on the pitch. Lindgren, yeah, nice try, mate. Nice try. Oh, what? I'm a superstar. Had you forgotten? Is that ball still alive? It is. He's played it to me in an awful position. Croissants. Tony, make space. Mickey, Mickey. How have you missed, Mickey? How on earth have you missed? Tony, touch. Oh, just wide. Straight after half time. Juventus, you thought there was let up? Uh, let me, let you know, there's no let up. Rodrigo, what a pass. Oh, so close. Cabal, it's not the best clearance, but what a save by Mere. He's having a good episode. Once we finish the journeyman, uh, the first video that will come out will be a Benedict Tony montage of everything, and it will be magical. Um, and after that, it will be our journeyman best 11. And that might take me six months to make to decide who deserves to get in, because... Uh, Merritt is doing God's work so far. That's a lovely part. I mean, delete again. What? What? I mean, in real life, that's such a red card, isn't it? That was so stupid of me to do. But I just didn't like the way he was mocking my teammate. You know, I'm always going to stand up for my brothers. Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes to play. Dele Alli has not shown his face. Cowardly. He'll lose a lot of reputation in the gang scene for that. In the mafia, you know, the casinos and the betting shops, wherever else the mafia like to hang out. There's a minute left, Juventus, they'll power in up for one more attack, you would imagine. I don't even know, they're not going to have time. Well played, Juventus. Massive, massive 1-0 win. You might, you, you, you would be forgiven for forgetting, because so much happened that game, how good the goal was scored by Benedict Tony. I'd say it's one of the, the sweetest goals of our career. Don't console them, don't console them. They don't deserve it, what am I up to? High-fiving people, me and Nicky, making friends, pathetic. Let's watch it one more time, because it deserves it. Look, he thinks I'm coming in. Keep it on the right. Pwah! Good luck saving that. A phenomenal win. What a result. Let's go and take a look at the league table. Delhi, it's not over. We still have one more chance to play you this season. And if you're not on that pitch, mark my words, I will come to the new White Hart Lane, or whatever you're calling it, and I will destroy you. And I'll destroy that little golden cockerel. So, after today's episode, the Italian League was sick. AC Milan have still won every single game that they've played. Fiorentina are unbeaten. I wish we played for them, and we are sick. If you did enjoy the episode, please like, please subscribe, please comment, all of that good stuff. Let me know, as I say, what you want to see for the next journeyman. The next episode will be two league games, and they're two big ones. Two very big ones. Inter Milan, the only time we played a team that we used to play for. So that'll be fun. And then we're going to skip the Sampdoria game and play the Sassuolo game. You might be thinking, Jack, why are you playing Sassuolo? Sassuolo? Because a little man named Google Gobbles is leading the line for Sassuolo. And there is no one I would like to kick more than Google Gobbles. So yeah, I'll see you next time. If you did enjoy it, as I say, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Stay safe. Arrivederci. Once again.